What's going on? It's your girl Fathom DJ checking in and I am, I will have to say I am utterly disappointed in the concept of, of what's happening right now. You know, my heart and my spirit and my mind were in the right place when I, you know, posted my last video or video before last about the concept that I wanted to spotlight females in the music industry, um, in Chicago specifically. And unfortunately, Patrick has um, reached out to several female DJ, DJs in Chicago, um, and we have gotten very little response. Uh, I sent out a MySpace and a Facebook um, memo bulletin to let people know that we were looking for females to come out and take part of the music movement um, event that I had called it based on the conversations that we have had and and though I've had conversations with a few female DJs I cannot get a solid out of the three that now I feel like may or may not come and play I have no solid lineup I have no solid confirmations and unfortunately this is the reason part of the reason why we don't get used because you know, there's this whole myth about the concept of, you know, female DJs being catty and jealous and, un, un, you know, insecure or not wanting to, the, to rise to the cause of unification. You know, we can all sign into a website, you know what I'm saying, female DJs only. And I, you know, I see the sisterhood in that. But I'm, my heart was in the right place when I said that I had a concept to try to promote and to bring some unity into the, the female DJ community to create a networking event for us to get together based on what happened to me. And I'm not getting supported again. You know, I've been, you know, people have told me that they were going to drop me tracks online. Um, that uh, that they would volunteer to help organize the event, you know, and Patrick is at a loss for words. The only thing that he say is, this is why people don't mess with female DJs, and that hurts my feelings as well. But maybe there's truth to that. You know what I'm saying? You know, all of us who are out here struggling to make our names known and to get credit and recognition. You know, some of us have been playing for forever. You know what I'm saying? Some of us st just started yesterday. The bottom line is we're all in the same boat, you know? And that was my intent, was to try to bring us together. Try and failed. So now the concept has changed because I have way more support for my male DJ buddies. Wow, I'm overwhelmed. Again, these are so many of the signals and the clues that I'm being given by the universe as to the type of energy that I'm in. You know, to not be supported or to be lightly supported by people who I converse with on a daily basis. You know, it's hurtful. To have, of course, folks that I've never met who don't even know me to sling mud and say negative things about me based on what happened to me, whether it was my fault or not. Hurtful. To look around and have people lie and say they want to help and support the cause and then turn around and look again and have them not be there. Very painful. Just, I just don't even know what to say anymore. But I, what I will say is, is that I've had more people who I don't know DJ Kaya, yesterday, hit me online, all night, just dropping tracks and instant message. Had never dropped tracks and instant message before. Had never done that. She was blessed by DJ Lisa in Philly. Know her? Maybe not. I know her now. DJ Lisa in Philly, who is a DJ mentor and who teaches DJing in her home to people, gave her a gig of music. You know, and she's passing the love on. Incredible. Not to know these sisters. So there's this theory about Chicago 
unhaters. There's a theory about us not being able to unify and us not being able to pull together, whether it's a tragedy or whether it's a, a triumphant thing for somebody. It looks real. There's an article in DJ um, in Bob Magazine about DJ Rashida. You know what I'm saying? I'm her friend on MySpace. We haven't communicated, haven't reached out. They have a DJ collective called the Honey Collective. These girls get the bigger picture. They see obviously something. They're being consistent. They're creating opportunities for themselves. They're in the right realm of people. This is where I envision myself going. You know what I'm saying? And I want to help. Regardless of the fact that my stuff got stolen, regardless of the fact that I don't feel like a DJ right now, regardless to the adversities that we have, I'm, I'm overwhelmed. You know what I'm saying? Lost my graphic designer over $80 because I'm teetering on depression. <laughs> wow. That's all I can say. Is wow. Who knew? That me posting one video um, about some mistakes that I made and losing my stuff and simply trying to get it back would cause this effect. But God shines through. That's all I have to say. And I was doing my thing before and I will be doing it again regardless to all of these revelations that I'm having about these people who I've promoted and supported and helped in any form or fashion who less than a week later ain't heard from them. <laughs> God bless you. God bless all of you. You know, I appreciate the truth about Chicago. I appreciate the truth about myself and the things that I may have done in the past that give me this karma, you know, this flashback of karma for whatever it is. I understand greater. Fathom DJ, space.